Good afternoon, welcome to the Brewery Field, the seventh host, ninth in the National League North. Another unscheduled fortnight hiatus halted Spending Wars' momentum following an impressive two win at Southport last time out. But both sides will be looking up the table this afternoon. Either of these teams could be fourth to end of play this evening. I'm Adam, yeah. that's Sam. And we hope you're all safe and well wherever you're watching from this afternoon. I will take you through the two sides. We'll start with Spending Wars, who name an unchanged 11 to the side that won at Southport last time out. So in a 4-2-3-1 formation, Dale Eve is a goalkeeper. The back four, right to left, is Forbes, Buddle, Curtis, Blakeman. In the midfield, Moke and Spencer. And the two wingers are McLean and McKenna, with Ramshaw behind Taylor. They will want the toss, which means Bradford will kick us off. Kicking Bradford off from right to left with this kickoff as we see it. A minute to three. Starting early, Sam. How's that? <laughs> well, I mean, a couple of games this season we started four minutes past, <laughs> so it's a nice surprise actually to be starting a little early. Obviously, Sam is a midfielder for Spending Ball. Played right back a lot of the time. Angle ball forwards, headed clear by Blakeman. That's nice from Scott McLean on the far side. Can't get past all three. Oof. That's in a heavy challenge. Spenwell won the free kick there. And it's going to be a booking as well, I think, here, There's Sam. There's been some meaty challenges already in the opening <laughs> couple of exchanges. Adriano Moki was late on his man. And now we see, is that number seven? Yeah, so it Ryan must Tolson. be Ryan Tolson late on his man as well. Bradford manager card, displeased. Yeah, he I think it is gonna, uh, The yellow card's out. I've got my pen, so I hope it is. <laughs> and Bradford can bring the ball forward through the middle. Keeper will come for it. Oh, 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 just enough on it there. But it's a through to Dale Eve. Coolness personified, I think, is the correct phrase there. Dale Eve just letting the ball run out to him, dummy it, and then go back to pick it up. But uh, did well, actually, the keeper. He did. That's a nice little death flick from Taylor into Ramshaw. Got to run him in McLean. Who he uses go on. Penalty. he's got McLean here can he square it he tries to get a shot himself oh the yeah early exchange in. is perhaps what you want for McLean I think it was Ben McKenna who was the man in support we will still have the ball though come again Taylor taking on his man don't do that very often down the wings pull down the cross as well oh, it's a good one cross it six yard box Forbes will keep it in play yeah Ben McKenna actually moved away from that position as well didn't he trying to come short to get the ball on a turn round short that one should be dealt with and it's cleared away another corner Another in swinger. They've been dangerous so far. Clear where the near post by Blakeman and McLean can hold it up. Try and find Moke. Not getting one ahead of him. Ramshaw making that run. Oh. We'll get there, but can't quite flick it past his man. Moke then takes charge, but it's more up than forwards. That's a lovely bit of skill that from Haven, the centre back. He's on side. He's round of the goalkeeper. Full getting back. We're not going to get there. And it's put into the back of the net by Lewis Knight. Lovely bit of skill from the centre back, Luca Haven, who is still forward from the corner. To flick it round the defender, play through Lewis Knight, he rounds the keeper, the pill for offside, it wasn't given. And Bradford have the lead, Sam. It all comes from James Curtis stepping up, it means Buddle has to come out of his natural position to try and close the man down so he can't play the pass. He gets round him as well and just plays it through one-on-one -on -one with the striker. Rounds Dale Eve, who's quick off his line. And Tyler Forbes can do nothing about it as the recovering defender. But uh, Moore's... Forward, Buddle wins ahead header. Second ball again is in favour of Bradford. And that from Clee, a decent looking ball. If it can be kept in play by the goal scorer in Norwich, it can. He's onside. The little back heel as well. And that's been kept in. Crosses Pelletier. Shows the goal. Good save from Dale Eve. Moka just stands and watches there. And it's retrieved by Marriott. Back from him to Toulson. Now Windass will try a shot. Harmlessly wide. That's just how tight it is. Obviously, with top play, we're leading four teams on goal difference, all on 11. But all playing different amounts of games, I think. To interpret what you, what, what you can from the table. Still plenty of time to go, though, it must be said. Exactly. And to Ramshaw, a little flip around towards, towards Taylor. Returns to 1-2 to Ramshaw. It's not a penalty area. Oh, and he's dragged it wide. After Gilto's chance, Ramshaw, you'd fancy to bury them. Lovely local play between him and Taylor. Yeah. He just tracked his shot wide. Hands on the heads of Spencer Moke and uh, McLean. That does. <laughs> Tell you everything that you need to know about that one. It was a guilt-edge chance. Ramshaw will be critical of himself, though, in that situation. He knows Definitely. he should have done better. Got runners ahead of him now, joining in the attack. They played it well to find Clee. He's got space here. 
looking to Doherty. Oh, it's a good oh, ball. It's a fantastic ball. Dale Eve will get there first. Lewis Knight, the touch just. I think it's Spanish's first corner of the game. They've had one, a free kick close to this area. Blakeman will take this one. Buttle has towards goal. Onto the bar. Falls to Ramshaw. Gets something on it. Oh, and it's cleared away under the, underneath the crossbar. For the turn, that's where it came from. Curtis can just flick it on towards Taylor. It's sliced clear. And after a spending more throw, that's the closest have come really off the bar. I've questioned his officiating in this first half, but uh, I think that sums it up. Oh, they won't win the header. Doctor shoots towards goal. Oh, ho, ho. that can't be far away. Fizzes across the goal line and behind for a goal kick. Yeah, it's a vicious shot, is it? Just fizzes past the far post he does exceptionally well to bring it down and actually even create an opportunity don't think going to count for much longer and now he will blow for half time but probably a good job with Bradford just put it back in a dangerous position to have a break yeah it's been an infuriating first half I think that's the right word to describe it infuriating with the way we conceded just one man pushing up allowing the space to go in behind Chance to get this ball forward, everyone inside. The spending more half other than the Bradford goalkeeper. Clee will not take it, so it's into the area. What a touch that is from the centre half, Haven. Oh, and he puts it just wide. Luca Haven there playing like a centre forward. Fantastic turn on the a fantastic touch on the turn. He scored in the week at Darlington and he was injured from scoring again. McLean and McKenna have switched flanks. Uh, Ramshaw's dropped into a deeper role alongside Spencer, which will, I think, will mean will, will mean that Mulhern will play in that number ten role behind Taylor. So it's the same shape. And it comes. Keep a shout. Keep punches away. Not very far. He's still on the floor. He's dead even. Spencer can hack it clear, but not very far. Keeps off his goal. So it's going to be an effort. Oh, he clips the bar. What an effort that is. I think it was uh, the goal towards. I think it's Lewis Knight on just ahead of the centre circle. Yeah, I think it was. Going to be a double substitution for spending one a minute. But we'll get to that when it happens. They want to throw on the far side. I think it's going to be Thompson and Hall, I think. It comes towards Taylor. Oh, he's won it. Oh, and he's given it as a handball. The ball's in the back of the net. But it will not count. And Taylor, judge of handling that. And, well, and I think the rules are, at all, at all levels of the game, that if the ball hits your hand in lead to a goal, regardless of intent or not, it doesn't count. And that certainly can't have been intentional, but it may well have hit his arm. It may well have done. I'd like to see it again. Linesman certainly didn't flag. So, Blakeman and McKenna have left the field for Thompson and Hall. So, two wide men. McLean will revert to left-back position. He's more than comfortable in. Here's down underneath it. Try and clear. Looks like he ran the ball out, but Thompson will keep it in play anyway. Back to McLean. On his right foot, we'll try one. In. It's dangerous. Keeper can punch it away, not too far. Oh, and Ford misses his kick. They can be ran clean by Bradford. Mulhern gets something on it. Spence now into the tackle, wins it. Down the line for Mulhern. First time cross is very wayward indeed. How long is he going to take to take the corner? Here, now it does win to the middle. Taylor can head it clear. McLean can get a bit more on it. It's a volley, well, not very far away. All underneath that one. Ball bounces twice and... No surprise to see wins Ooh. the second ball, but it deflects in favour of Frank Mulhern. Look Ryan at Hall. Ryan Hall, yeah. draw. Ramshaw Mul Mul Mulhern slips, but continues his run. Players now back for Bradford, but Hall has it. Back to Mulhern again. We come to Sp uh, Spencer. Spencer gets back towards the far side with Forbes. Got a chance for a cross. It's blocked. It'll fall to Spencer, though. Heads it into the penalty area. In towards Hall. He'll try one. Yes! Oh, in! On the volley, Ryan Hall. His first meaningful touch of the game, really, since he came on. Well, we just said that Bradford might rue their missed chances. They might well just be doing that now. They do, and it comes from Bradford Park Avenue being sloppy and allowing moves in on the right-hand side, breaking clear. You think the chance is gone when uh, Ryan Hall and Frank Mulhern hold the ball up initially, but they're working out well to the right-hand side for Forbes to deliver. Uh, Spence, sorry, Spencer flicks it on. And who's there to benefit Ryan Hall? And God, of course, we're here on Tuesday night. And we'll have a man, a man suspended for it as well. Non-ball at the top, looking for 
Knight. Buddle goes to ground, but doesn't get there. Oh Knight can cut inside of Curtis. Try a shot. Oh, it's in. He curls it past the keeper. Spending more level for a minute and a half. Bradford probably have been the well, that's always definitely been the better side in this game. But so frustrated to concede, just had to get himself back into it. Sucker punch, isn't it? We mentioned about the late goals that we see in spending more games. You're thinking when we go and get an equaliser that maybe we can push on with Frank Mulhern's effort, but um so anyway, we've got it all to do again. Now important that Mulhern chance look now. Here he is, Frank Mulhern. Over top looking for Taylor. Back into his man, chests it down, loses out though. And it will be a free kick. Bit of afters there. Unnecessary. Referee saw it and will. Well, Tulson's already on a yellow me. card. He's got to be careful because I think he kicked out at Glenn Taylor. Good spot that, yeah. It was Tulson, wasn't it? And Taylor. I think arms were raised and. Well, he's going to both pockets, I think. I think he might be sending him off. He's off. It's a straight red to, for Tulson. Well, it's second yellow for Tulson. Or was it a straight red? A straight red, I think, yeah. I don't think, I don't think it did show a second yellow card. And Taylor is going to just see a yellow, I think, though. Well, unless he did flash, flash a second yellow and we didn't see it. But I, I say it certainly didn't see that. If that did happen, we can see it down the line, which he can, with Mulhern. But he's got so many around him. He'll do well to get out of that. He has done, though, to Ramshaw, who can bring the ball forward into Spencer. On now to McLean on this near side. Can cross into middle. Headed towards goal. He's in! Glenn Taylor heads in. Head in hands for the Bradford manager. And I can see why they've let a lead slip for the second time. We've still got six minutes to go. The third goal in five minutes and it's an equaliser. There was a warning sign earlier from a Scott McLean delivery. Wasn't there where Tyler Forbes we think should have put the ball in the net. This time it's a lovely glancing header from Glenn Taylor. Similar to the one he scored on opening day against Farsley Celtic in the lead, but it's yeah. a lovely little flick towards the far corner. 2-2, two, two, game back on. What do we say about late goals, Adam? <laughs> You're not wrong. Minute and a half of the 90 to go. Back to Curtis. He's got space to go across to Spencer, who himself has got space. What can he do with the ball? He can find it into Ramshaw. Now Hall. It's a tight, intricate play. It finds Mulhern. Oh! oh! That can't be far away from Frank Mulhern. It might have even perhaps, perhaps just nicked the roof of the now on its way over. We once said we wanted a meaningful chance. Such good passing though, isn't it, between Ramshaw Hall and to find Mulhern on the edge of the area with space. Hall's got the ball. Towards the far side to Ramshaw. Will he keep it in play? He will. Can he get his cross in? No, cuts out of his man though. Rob Ramshaw crosses it in. Heads it up in the air by having Thompson underneath it. Heads it! Oh! Oh, it's cleared away before to Mulhern in the area. Can he get a shot away? He can't, and it's still there on the penalty end, so it's hat clear. 50 seconds left to play. I think it was going wide. That, I think it's headed. It looked like it might have been off the line. I think it would have gone wide, which is why I was surprised it's still in play. But now, Ramshaw, if hey! it's down, you're not going to get anything. He kept it in there. Oh, and then he went a goal kick in the end. And Well, that might just about be the last chance of this game with 30 seconds left to play. He's had a few looks. It's into Spencer. We carry on, but not for much longer. It finishes 2-2. I think, based on, as I said, the opening 18 minutes, it is a point gained for Spennymore. Bradford were a very good outfit, very organised and solid outfit. And to get two goals against them in the last 10, 15 minutes, I think, took some doing. But a fantastic game of football. We can actually breathe, Sam. <laughs> it shows the courage of the side as well when you go... Uh, sorry, when you go 2-1 down with around 10 minutes to go and you're, you're thinking the worst, you're thinking that Mills aren't going to come away with anything. But uh, with a player of Glenn Taylor and his quality, if you can get good balls into the box for him to feed off, and that's exactly what it was from McLean.